Hello. Uh, my desk chair broke, so I'm currently using just a solid wooden chair. But, um... Hello, Mel. Hello, Bessie. Hello. Hang on, I'm reading. Isabel. Hello, Ash. Hello, Jordan. Hello, Clover. Hello, Rose Gold. Hello, Brave. Uh, I don't know what to say for your username. Hello, Akira. <laughs> Hello, Sky. Anyone I missed? Hello. <laughs> Hi, Finn. Hi, Layla. Uh, yeah, my desk chair broke. So, um, if you guys know my, my thumbnail for Diner Simulator, where they're like solid wooden chairs. Uh, I literally have that chair right now. <laughs> Funny enough, the chair I based my thumbnail chair off of um, is the chair that I ended up having to use two days later. <laughs> yeah, my, um, my poor little desk chair. Oh, definitely. Like, the wooden chair I'm sitting on is awful. <laughs> it's it's so bad. <coughs> How have you guys been today? I know I haven't been streaming as often as I was at the beginning of the month. Um, I just got busy. I got caught up with some other things, and I just I'm just waiting. You know, you'll get a new video on the fifteenth with the release of the breeding hub. Um, I've just I've just been caught up with like a bunch of other things. Oh, I didn't have color changing shards before that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it, the chair was older than me. We had had that chair since before Mel and I were born. Um, so it was a very old chair. It was due to break any minute. <clears throat> the bird is spinning the hunt? Yes, I love the egg hunt. Lois and I usually did the egg hunt together. Need to clear some stuff out of my inventory. That's okay. We'll just keep running. Uh, high quality can come on this time. Yeah, I sadly don't have a pillow I can put on it. That's what makes it so sad. Yeah, the hunt hasn't happened since uh, 2020. The last time Roblox did the egg hunt was 2020. That was four years ago. Yeah, I I would have if I if I could have, but I don't really have a pillow. Wish we could catch infernals on volcano. I wish. So excited you have no idea. Me too. Your character looks so good. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to be live today, because, again, solid wooden chair. <laughs> solid wooden chair, kind of uncomfortable to sit in. So I don't know how long I'm going to be live. <gasps> Hello! It's okay. When I get paid in, like, how long? How long from now? Like roughly a week. When I get paid in a week, I'll um I'll just I'll just get a I'll just get a new chair. It's alright. I'm gonna have to because this is awful. <laughs> but hey, plus side, you guys don't get to hear my uh my chair squeak anymore. My chair doesn't squeak anymore. Yay! <laughs> Hello, Foxy! Welcome in! I like R.I.P. Tem's back. Real! Oh my god! I'm- mm, My back is very much suffering from this chair. You have no idea. Alright. I don't have anything I can sell. Really don't want these. I'll go ahead and get rid of them. Hello, Emily. Welcome in. 
Yeah, no, I've got no plans on face revealing. Um, entirely because Mel and I are twins. So I would need her permission, and should my channel ever end up actually going somewhere in the future, um, that could put her in danger, as well as myself. So it's mostly just out of a safety aspect. Hello, hello! Yeah, it's just a safety thing for the most part. So we're nightbots everywhere? Yeah, it's just a little chat bot. So close to 9k? I know, we're at 8.5. Join as fast as I salute, as fast as I saw the notification. Aww. Well, hello, welcome in. I really thought streaming would distract me from, um, you're identical? Yes, we are. We're identical twins. Yeah, Nightbot's just a little guy. We are on candy wave for today, as it's Wednesday, so we have to wear pink. <sighs> yes, that's- we are identical. <laughs> the only- the only real difference is, uh, come down to height. I'm taller. Um, and voice. You're wearing green? I'm wearing pink on my clown. <laughs> oh, and by technicality, my blush and my lipstick on my character are pink. A form of pink. It's like a, it's like a peach for the lipstick, but the blush is pink. <laughs> yes, twins can be different heights, different weights. Um... <clears throat> In fact, there's usually, when it comes to identical twins, usually one is taller, but also weighs more. They're not always identical in terms of height or weight. Like, I weigh slightly more than Mel does, and I'm taller than her by, um, a little bit. <laughs> Alright, bye Xander! No, having- growing up with an identical twin is awful. Like, it's- it's not- it's not fun. Pretty much most of- most of growing up with an identical twin, especially if you end up in different classes in school, um, we've had experiences where if somebody didn't like one of us, they would take it out on both of us just entirely because they couldn't tell us apart. We've had, um... We've had teachers get angry at both of us for similar reasons. They couldn't tell us apart. Um, people always assume that we have identical personalities. It's really annoying. Like, our the entire times when friends and family didn't know what to get us, they just kept getting us the exact same thing. Um, whenever we were in different classrooms and we had to go to an assembly, I've had a teacher, like, physically grab me and drag me back to where her class was sitting because Mel wasn't there that day. Like, Mel was not in class that day and I was sitting with my class. I had a teacher physically drag me back over to her class thinking I was Mel. Um, I've had- I've had people who had an issue with- with Mel, like, come after me. Like, it's- it's not- <laughs> It's not very fun being an identical twin, especially growing up. <laughs> like, there was- there have been people- Yeah, 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 yeah. When we were in elementary school, there was a teacher who could only tell us apart by the fact that Mel had, like, a freckle on her ear. Um, and they would- they would do that. All they had to do was ask. We wore different glasses, we wore- uh, different shoes, and they would still do it. They would still do it. Hi, Xander! Yeah, growing up as a twin isn't that fun. <laughs> it actually kind of sucks. Like, now people can tell us apart because I'm- I'm taller, 
we have very, very, very different uh, clothing styles. And we wear our hair in different ways. We also have different glasses. Her voice is a lot deeper than mine now. <laughs> like, her voice is deeper than mine. Mine is the higher one. Um, but overall, it's just, eh. <laughs> Broke desk chair, L. Anyways, bye. Okay, bye, Xander. <sighs> yeah, Mel, Mel has a thyroid disease that makes her, her voice deeper. And a new IU agent since rooftop pizza. Um, I got gifted Alien, but beyond that, no. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I haven't been playing Wild Horse Islands. I've been on Minecraft the last like week and a half. How many IU agents do you have? I have eighteen. Right, I can't pick up the corn because of my full inventory. Trying to figure out what I have. Oh, I gotta get rid of that. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been playing Wild Horse Islands the last few days. I've been logging in just to keep my streak. Like, I'm on day 512 in like three hours. Um. See where new wolves are being added to Minecraft? I did! I did see it! I'm so happy about it. My favorite one is probably going to be the one in the savannah, um, just because of its markings. Oh, someone got a ruby mustang in the server, and could have been me. Nah, I've been in a public server where somebody caught a ruby fjord, and I was mad. <laughs> I I think I took a screenshot of it, and I was just I sent it to Mel, and I was like, "This is this is the saddest day of my life." <laughs> This was back when I only had Mulan and Flint, by the way. This was this was back when I had only caught a total of three at the time. <sighs> the same wolves for you is so exciting. It is! I'm so excited. So I'm caught a leafy paint horse. Yeah, the two servers I've been in where people um, have caught IUH, like horses in public servers, um, how did your chair break? It was getting ready to break. It was an old chair. Uh, it had already started squeaking and, like, some of the bolts had already come loose. Um, and so I just kind of got up one day and it, it just kind of, like, one of the legs was kind of bent a little weird. So I was like, you know what, that's, that's probably a sign to, to give that one up. The chair was older than me. <laughs> like, it was an old chair. A very old chair. <sighs> yeah one of the it was like a welded piece so it wasn't one of the bolted pieces it was a welded piece that had already started to um kind of break off that's like going to college soon thank you i start in the fall Yep, I started in the fall, so all of my, all of my stuff, I was a cashier for a little bit. <laughs> but, of course, I think I've told the story on stream. I was a, I was a cashier for a little bit. All I got out of it was my social security number leaked and a pretty cool badge I could keep as a souvenir. <laughs> nope, I'm, I'm 20. We're not- we're not the same. I'm- I'm 20. Just a few years older. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got- I got $36, a name tag, and my social security number leaked. <laughs> Say hi to Alien? I can right now. I can right now. Alien. We're going matchies with names, so we both have the the triple. 
Here we go. Hi, buddy! Mm. How did the desk chair break? Again, it was it was a pretty old chair, and I I use it pretty frequently. The same way any other one does. She named the valley I gave you? Not yet. Mm. <laughs> Alien is just a little cutie patootie. Alright, he's just a little guy. Just a small little guy. Look at him. With his little boppers and his matching his matching heart lollipop. Alien was gifted to me by Sunshine. If you guys saw Sunshine up there in chat, the person who said to say, uh... Yeah, they said, I'm going to the barn soon. I'll see you later. So had Alien for me. Sunshine is the one who gave me, uh, Alien. <laughs> He's just a little guy. He's just a little man. <laughs> I love him. Did you get another title? Nope. I think I'm still sitting at, um, exactly 80. Can we see Snickerdoodle's cute face? Yes, you can. Where's the boy? There he is. Here, look at his cute face. <laughs> Here's his cute face. Alright, come on, Snickerdoodle. Have you been trained yet? No. Okay. Sorry, Snickerdoodle. I gotta put you back. Yeah, he's just a little guy! Um, here's Rooftop Pizza. We'll ride him to the dock. There we go. Is Scented Candle being nice? Yes, she is. <laughs> Scented candle is being very good. Love your videos. Aw, oh, thank you. It's Alien Green Pearl. Yes, he is. Mm. How's Cheddarwell doing? She's doing great. She's uh she's certainly vibing. You excited for the new update? Yes. I don't think I'm gonna use the breeding hub beyond just the day that I record the video for it, um, on Friday, but I'm I'm excited to see what the question marks. I know we're we're getting the egg hunt as well. What's your favorite food? My favorite food. Oh, Anyway, my favorite food is lasagna. You know what a Roblox hunt is? It's the egg hunt. It's the Roblox egg hunt. Everybody check it out. This is Gogurt. <laughs> Just thought I'd show you guys Gogurt. Gogurt was a gift from Tango. Yeah, the hunt is the egg hunt. Not food. Hey Mel, you still owe me those dies. Got amazing news. What's the news? Sorry if I seem kind of distracted today. I'm not sure how long this stream's gonna be. I don't want that white seashell. Get out of my inventory. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Got my 17th IUH. Ooh! That's wonderful. What kind is it? So 
the leafy red chestnut andy. Oh, are they resetting progress on horse life again? When the full release happens, yes. Progress on horse life will be reset again when the full release happens. So hard getting on UHs, how do you do it? Um, I have a tutorial on my page on how I get all of mine. I've caught a total of 12. Time, guess what? What? What's up? No, that's so real, Mel. I gotta replace Sharpie when the full release happens. I gotta get Sharpie back. And then should I IUH hunt on just not jungle or mountain? Okay, volcano and blizzard. Do you horse ride in real life? No. Uh, I have not actually even gone near a horse in real life since I was eight. Please, Holly, Marshmallow, Vale, and more on my pretty unicorns. Listen, all right. When it comes to gargoyles, I have Disco. That is who I have. I just have Disco. Only Disco. Um, and then I have regular horses. I have Sharpie, I have Scooter, and I have Tilly. That is that is my progress on horse life. Hey there, what, what you doing? How you doing? No fancy hair? I'm not picking it up. I need mean, my like, IUH for it or something else. Um, it's a leafy red Andy. Um, I'm gonna say nah. Forest sounds like an okay choice. Do you play any Roblox games apart from Wild Horse Islands? Yes. Um, sometimes I hop in Horse Life, but I don't think I'd count it. Uh, I'm on- I play Royale High, I'm frequently on, um, Diner Simulator, I jump around a bunch of Tycoon games with Xander, um, I- I actually lately haven't even been on Roblox the last few weeks. Like, the last week- the last week or so I've been on Minecraft instead. I've been logging in entirely just to get my login streak. Thank you for subscribing! Just to get my login streak and then hopping off. I haven't been in public servers. I've I've really hardly been on Roblox at all. It's been Minecraft the last few days. Um, before that, it was live in a back alley simulator. Um, I've just been burnt out on Wild Horse Islands, so I... I haven't been spending as much time in game as I was for a while. No, I don't I don't really interact in public servers too much, so I don't um usually when when I talk to people in public servers, they come up to me first. So I I don't know the current state of public servers. I've been hiding in here. <laughs> like, I've been hiding in my in my private server. Do you play Minecraft on PC or console? I play it on uh, PC. I have Java. I am always on Java. I do not play Bedrock. I have Bedrock. I have it. I just... I. I play Java instead because I prefer it. Royal High is boring now? That's true. It's not new user friendly anymore. Like, Royal High is not new player friendly. The only real way to progress in Royal High anymore is to already be friends with a, high, a higher level player.
Hi, Tim. I just realized you were live. How are you? I'm okay. I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> not, not uncomfortable in the, like, um, like, feeling uncomfortable kind of way. I'm in the physical uncomfortable kind of way. I'm sitting on just, this, like, a solid wooden chair, and it hurts. <laughs> yes! When I started playing Royale High, things were a lot cheaper, and it was, it was obtainable for newer players. Now, the only way to really progress in Royale High is to have high-level friends, or you have to be rich. You have to buy game passes and stuff. You have to farm diamonds like crazy. It's not fun. Like, Royale High is no longer beginner-friendly. Like, it's, it's just, eh. Turned the new map, map and got no tutorial? Yeah. I don't know, I used to love Morale High. It's just, it's not fun anymore. I think another game that's kind of lost its charm is Adopt. Like, Adopt Me has is also very much not beginner-friendly anymore. Like, that, one, that one's also not beginner-friendly anymore, and anytime you go in there, it's just people cross-trading. Like, that's all it is anymore. It's just you go in, and it's just people advertising cross-trading. Yeah, it's just all scamming now. <laughs> That's all it is. Like when it when I first joined Adopt Me, okay, pets weren't there yet. And I I have no issue with the pets. I love the pets. But you go in there now, you don't see a single person doing anything the game was originally meant to have. Like, it used to have an active role-playing community, it used to have- like, trading was no, was never the main thing originally. And then with the introduction of pets, and then the introduction of neons, and then the introduction of, um, the introduction of, like, megas, it kind of pushed the original objective of the game to the side. Um, and I'm not a role player. I have never been a role player. Ever. <laughs> like, in my life. I, I do not role play. But even, even in Adopt, you just, you have to be rich to do anything. <laughs> it's not worth playing anymore. Hello, hello, welcome in. I don't know. I like games like Wild Horse Islands because it's just... In this one, at the very least, it's beginner friendly. Like, you have a tutorial. You... You don't have to worry about getting all of the rare stuff because, well, trading is a big thing. Collecting is also a large part of it. Every horse can be found in the wild, especially during events. Um... And it's just, I don't know. This is a game that I've I've really become like attached to. Collect horses apart from the titles. Uh I do. I collect IUH horses and I collect um V2 vows. I can't afford to collect V1s. <laughs> that's that's some rich person stuff. I can't I can't afford to collect V1s, but I collect V2 Vowels, I collect Snowflake Clydes, um, trying to think what else. I collect Life Rings, um, I've got a very small collection of Heart Boppers, but I collect those too. <sighs> Thank you for subscribing, welcome in. Titles are V1s? Yes, they are. I was talking about V1 vowels. <laughs> Do 
Have you ever played Bloxburg? Uh, once or twice. I have the game, I just don't play it. I paid the little, the little 25 Robux to get in. <laughs> but I... I just, I don't play it. I prefer Roville. Roville is kind of better. It's a lot more things to do. You know what I miss? I miss when the Neighborhood of Robloxia was an active game. Oh, sorry, it's the Neighborhood now. But I miss when it was an active game. Because I used to ride around in my little ice cream truck and sell people ice cream. <laughs> Like, I, I miss going in there, getting my ice cream truck out, and riding around just giving people ice cream. Now, for some reason, it's completely military role plays for some reason. I don't know why, because it's just a basic, like, suburban neighborhood. Did you ever play Meep City before it was hacked? Uh, when it was hacked, I was, I was in-game. <laughs> One of the times it was hacked. Meep City has been hacked multiple times. Um, but one of the times it was hacked, I was in-game. That's- that's how I could afford my large house on Meep City at the time. I left the game. Okay? Like, I- I- I was sent to the little, like, Spongebob obby tycoon that everybody else was. Um... Like, I got- I got sent to the same Spongebob Obby Tycoon thing. Uh, it was a little scam game that, uh, the people who got into it, um, would- <laughs> That they would, um, they would redirect everybody to. Yeah, one of the times it was hacked, I was there. I could say I was there. God, I don't even know if I'm gonna make it to an hour. I really don't want to be at my desk. Was it a scam? I'm not calling Meep City a scam. I'm calling the game that they redirected to a scam. Uh, they're cash grab games meant to, uh, they're meant to kind of prey on the younger audience of, um, Roblox. Like, so, all of those obbies where you see them with constant pop-ups, every single time you die, they're, like, promoting an item, those are scam games. They're meant to prey on little kids, and the pop-ups are there, so you accidentally click on them and buy something. Like, they, they are cash grab games meant just to farm Robux. That's why so many of them get taken down. That's why so many of them, like, the owners of them get banned. That is what those games are meant to do. They prey on the younger, like, players in Roblox that have Robux. Like, I- I don't- I don't want to name names, but the Obby But You're A or You're On games like that, all of them are like that. Thoughts on Pet Sim? I haven't played that one in a while. Look, I know I've covered a few cash grab games on my channel. Um, like, if you guys remember Horse Racing Simulator, that's a cash grab game. I still had fun with it, but it was a cash grab game. That's what it was. I'm trying to think what else. I'm trying not to name a specific game that's coming in my head, alright? Like, it's in my head. It's definitely there. But I'm trying not to name it, because it's a very popular one right now. And I don't know if that's a good idea. Um... Nah, we'll go for it. Uh, Obby, but you're a cat. If you guys have seen that trending. Um, that game, every single time you die, you get a pop-up that's like, add this game to favorites. Or, buy this every single time. Every time you die in that game. Every single time. <laughs> like, cash grab games really just prey on the younger players on Roblox. And it's not good. I know as a kid, if I had Robux, I probably would have given in and bought that too. Just got my horse to moonwalk, but now it won't stop. <laughs> I love that bug. Hang on, I need to fill my inventory and then we'll refresh the server. 
Oh, Adopt Me has definitely become a little more pay to win. But I feel like most games nowadays are like that. That's what brings me... That's what keeps me playing um, this game especially, Wild Horse Islands. It's because at least during events, you have the option to pay. You don't have to. You can find the horse in the wild or you can find it for tokens. Getting the tokens is super easy. Um, all of that. Like, Wild Horse Islands gives you the option to not pay. They give you many different ways to obtain the same item without having to spend any money. And I like games like that. I love that. That's probably my favorite thing about this game. What's your second favorite game? Um... Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, I'm gonna say the bowling game. I go bowling a lot. <laughs> I am- I am bowling constantly on Roblox. Roblox bowling probably has to be my second favorite game. I think I've done a stream late at night where I took chat, uh, row bowling once, so... Safe to say it's my- it's my second favorite. Love your videos. Thank you. Here we go. We'll keep, like, two spaces open. Hang on a second. There we go. Two spaces open. I used to go bowling on my birthday. I saw the Rolex bowling game. I've only been to a real bowling alley twice in my life. Only twice. Uh, once when I was three, and then again when I was 16. Besides that, I've, I've never been to a bowling alley again. Um, a mismatch IUH would have to be a dev gift. There used to be one, but people got a little, um, a little upset about it, so it was, it was undone. I just, I don't like real bowling, okay? Bowling in real life is one of the more boring sports. It's built like golf, okay? Like, it's, it's really boring. All you really do until it's your turn is just kind of stand around doing nothing. Alright, it's like golf, but loud. Um, in my opinion, golf is the worst sport, by the way. I will stand by that. Um, there's not really much to do. But bowling, like online, it, uh, it's a little more competitive to me. Like, it, that's where it kicks in, where I'm just like, I have to win now. <laughs> like I'm just like I, I've gotta win this now maybe it's just because I suck at bowling and I suck at golf but I don't know I love tennis I absolutely love tennis There are no mismatch IUHs. There are none. Love volleyball. Ooh, I tried volleyball. Oh god, lord, you are bright. Cool it, dude. Oh my god. Look how bright he is. Bro, just stands out. I love the Blood Bay. It, it'd make a perfect, like, Halloween-themed tag set. Like, those go perfect with the Halloween-themed tag sets.
Hey, Mel, if you need that coat, it's in here. You know where it is. Um, yeah, go get it. If you need the coat, go get it. Do you play Murder Mystery 2? No. I used to. I usually played it in a private server with friends. Public servers of the game aren't that fun. We're running all of the islands today because my, um, my inventory is full. Hello, hello, welcome back. How's your desk chair doing? Sparky has claimed the old chair as hers. Um, I don't know why we haven't gotten rid of the old chair, but Sparky has claimed it as hers. Yeah, she's claimed it as hers. She loves it. <laughs> it's, a, it's one of her favorite things. Also, we do have title trivia today. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna go to the one hour mark and then we're gonna do, um, we're going to do like a day in the life, but without your face. Um, I don't think that'd be very beneficial. <laughs> Let's put those remodels the thoroughbreds all be loaded. Well, there's no guarantee that they'll remodel them at any point. <laughs> I don't think it's safe to like to like bank on that. Um I I don't I don't think they're gonna be remodeled anytime soon. No, if they were going to remodel them, they would have announced it by now. But I think also a lot of people have thoroughbred collections, so I don't think they're going to be very high in value. Thoroughbreds are one of those horses that I don't think, even after, even if they become V1s, are going to have much value. Think of like the V1 Clydes, they're not holding too much value at the moment either. There is St. Patrick's event this year. Um, there's been none on the schedule so far. I mean, St. Patrick's Day is in just four days, so. <laughs> this thing's just my favorite. So one with that weird eyes. Aww. I don't know, I- I joined right before Mustangs were added. What do you think the question marks are? I actually don't know. It's fine. It's okay. We'll find out in two days. I This is the first time I don't have any speculations on it. Because I feel like if it was just about the egg hunt, which is coming up, I feel like if, if it was just about the egg hunt, it would say that. Because they already announced the egg hunt, so I feel like the question marks would have been marked as the hunt. There's still question marks. Yeah, okay. I'm just confused why they didn't put it in the, um, in the games thing. Like, here, let me show you. See down there at the bottom? Like, I, I wish they would have updated that. I'm excited for the egg hunt, though. Because I'm realizing a lot of my viewers haven't done the egg hunt. No, guys, the egg hunt is absolutely fun. 
I know a lot of you guys are disappointed with it. The egg hunt is very fun. You go around to a bunch of different Roblox games and you do challenges that will give you Roblox accessories and gear. Some of these accessories end up becoming limited. Like they become limited. Like I still have my um, build a boat for treasure egg from I don't know what year. It might have been 2020. Might have been 2019. I still have it and it's limited now. Like, you get, you get a bunch of accessories, you get a bunch of gear, it's really fun! Like, there was an, there was an Adopt Me egg at one point, there was one in Royal High, there was, um... God, what else do I have? There was a Jailbreak egg one year. Yeah, you get accessories! It's a fun event! It's a really big thing for games to be part of it, too. Like, it's a- it's a pretty big thing. Yeah, I've- I've done it every year, um, since I joined. So I did it in... Uh, I didn't do 2016s because I joined after. I did 2017s, I did 2018, 2019, and 2020. 2020 was the last year that they did it. Um... You get avatar accessories. So these are accessories that aren't just in game. They are they are on your actual Roblox account. Like it's a really fun event. It's it's better than just getting a St. Patrick's event in game. These are items that you can collect and keep with you for years even if like even if multiple Roblox games you got them from shut down, you still get to keep the accessory. Wonder if Royal High will add new items to the egg hunt this year. Uh, if I remember correctly, the egg hunt, um, the egg hunt last time was a mini game where you had to shoot other players with a bow and arrow. <laughs> That's how you got it last time. You read a mismatch? I don't have one currently trained for this. How long does the egg hunt last? Usually a couple weeks. Like, it's, it's usually a couple weeks. Sorry, adjusting the way I was sitting. I think when I get back down to, um, to Blizzard, we'll do title trivia, because I'm- I really don't want to be sitting at my desk. <laughs> like, I know this is a very short stream, but it's okay. I'll stream again tomorrow. Hi, Tango! I need to stop instinctively picking things up. <laughs> the more I pick things up just randomly off the ground, the more it's it's a little annoying. Gonna record doing the egg hunt? Maybe? I'll probably record the Wild Horse Islands portion. Like, when, when I go through it, I'll record the Wild Horse Islands portion, but I, I don't think I'll record any of the other games. Did so many games are going to be in it this year? No, I don't think so. Uh, it's usually quite a few games. Like, you're usually given a full list. 
like Roblox will put out like a little, sometimes a forum post, sometimes a blog post, and it's like a little list of uh, games you visit to get the items. What you have to do to get the item is usually in game. Um, it'll it'll tell you. It'll tell you what games to visit. I just know I don't have the royal high egg from last time because I um I absolutely suck at every game that's PvP based. <laughs> Player versus player stuff is awful for me. The oh Lord, they turned the news up. This is fine. When we get back down to Blizzard, we're gonna, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna do title trivia. <laughs> I'm really uncomfortable in this chair. And it's the same reason I haven't been able to play much Minecraft with, like, Lois and Tango the last few days. This chair is just so uncomfortable that I don't want to sit here too long. I can't wait till I get paid next week. <laughs> when I get paid, I'm buying that um that that desk chair from TikTok. The uh the crisscross chair. I'm buying that when I get paid. I saw it all over my for you page for a while. I'm buying it. I'm giving in and I'm doing it. It's a chair that you can like sit with your like um uh um uh, <laughs> trying to think. You can put both of your legs up. You can sit like in a little crisscross position. Like it's, it's great. It's a wonderful chair that I've seen everywhere. It's got no arms, which is the best kind of chair. Um, it's great. And the drawing other people's horses video. Maybe make another one. Uh, maybe. You a Taylor Swift fan? No. That's not to say I hate her, by the way. I, I don't hate Taylor Swift. Um, I just don't listen to any of her music. I am in no way, shape, or form a Swifty. Her music's not my thing. It's relatively cheap? Yeah, it is! Man, none of these horses have any fancy hair. I'm trying to think. I think the only Taylor Swift song I have I've ever put on a playlist, and I don't listen to this playlist either, but I used to. The only Taylor Swift song I ever put on a playlist was Lover, and even then I think I, I kinda skipped it a lot. Foxy, what did you get put on it that made it so salty? <laughs> Got a skelly? Ooh! Every time the subway command is used, I start to crave a sub. You know what? Fair. Guys, please don't spam the command. Please. Would you cover with fans? Uh, probably not. Just because I I feel bad. Um, every time I co-breed with a fan, a lot of them expect me to keep the horse, and I just end up giving it away. And that entirely comes down to the fact that I I don't have the inventory space to keep all of the foals that I co-breed with people. So I I tend to give the horse away anyways, just to somebody else who wants it. 
Like, I, I don't keep them, and then I feel bad because, like, there are a bunch of players who's like, oh, I've got, like, a matching horse with Tamaria, and I feel bad because I in my head I'm like, no, you don't. Not anymore. <laughs> I That's why I don't co-breed with fans. I I don't keep the horses, and I, I feel bad about that, so I just don't co-breed with fans. I don't co-breed with anyone, to be honest. <laughs> This is taking cheese one with banana peppers and parmesan cheese. Banana peppers can give it that taste. They're very sour. I know I know parmesan cheese is also um very much a a very salty type of cheese. Like, Parmesan cheese is also a very salty cheese, so it also could have been that. I don't know, I got Subway yesterday. I got the, um, the boss. So not the order you guys see when you use the command, it's, um, a different order. But I got, I got the boss. It's pretty much a meatball and pepperoni sub with, uh, fresh Parmesan. Make a command that tells your friends all your title names. There is a character limit. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't fit all 80 names into one command. There's a character limit. With most, not even most would fit on the command. <laughs> Not even most of them would fit. I'd probably get 15 names max. And that's pushing it. It might not it might not even get all 15. It might be like 10. What's the character limit? The same as the limit you would get on a YouTube, like, chat. Like, if you... Say you go to type in my chat, the character limit is the limit that you get when you're typing a chat message. Yes, there's title trivia today. God, I am so tired. Yeah, we're just gonna do title trivia when I get back down to Blizzard. We'll do title trivia when I get back down to Blizzard. Title trivia is a trivia section at the end of my streams on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, you answer questions about them. There are no physical prizes, it's just for fun, because we don't keep track of personal scores. Um, it is up to players to keep track of their own score, I keep track of chat's score. Um, if chat gets 5 out of 5, they get the stream extended an hour. Um, 4 out of 5, I'll give them a pat on the back. 3 out of 5, actually, 3 out of 5 might have been the pat on the back, hang on. Okay, okay, here we go. I got the list. Four out of five, you get a high five. Three out of five, you get a pat on the back. Two out of five, I will point and laugh at you in a grocery store. One out of five, I will point and laugh at you in a grocery store in front of your mother. And zero out of five, I will shake my head in disappointment. <laughs> Once again, that is five out of five. Stream gets extended a whole hour. Uh, four out of five, you get a high five. Three out of five, you get a pat on the back. Two out of five, I will laugh at you. I will point and laugh at you in a grocery store. Um, one out of five, I will point and laugh at you in a grocery store in front of your mother. And zero out of five, I will shake my head in disappointment and I will walk away.
That is how that works. You will either... <laughs> a lot of times, the way that chat scores is getting pointed and laughed at. Um, there have been a few times where... Um, <laughs> there have been a few times where chat has gotten a head shake with disappointment. Uh, chat has never received a high five or an hour extension. <laughs> chat has never ever received a high five or a stream extension so far. The highest chat has ever scored was three out of five. And that was on the very first title trivia. I don't think they've ever scored three out of five again. The questions today are relatively easy though. Um, some of them are, are repeat questions from the, when we first did title trivia. Uh, but they are phrased differently and have different options. So you can't just go back and find the answer. Um, yep, yeah, most of them are... <laughs> most of them are easy today. Um, I'd say if you've ever visited the petting zoo, like in a public server once or twice, you should be fine. Oh my god. Sorry, there's somebody. If you're in chat, Mel, you know who you are. Screaming in my house. Please, stop. <laughs> Mel, please. Uh, I, had to, I had to mute. You could be picked up. I just want you to know that if you're still in chat. <laughs> Christ. All right, Blizzard, and then we'll do title trivia. What do you mean laughed at in front of my mom? Because she'll point and laugh too and tell the whole family group chat about it? Okay. That's fine. How do you join title trivia? Um, you you just wait for it to pop up in chat, pretty much. It's a poll that takes place in the YouTube chat. Uh, it, basic rules, if you put your answer in the chat, it'll get deleted. If you put it in the chat more than once, you will get timed out. Um, so that's the only warning on that one. There will be a large pop-up on screen that says no answers in chat. It'll look exactly like this. Um... And it'll, it'll, it'll remind you right there. There are no answers in chat once it starts. Um, you put your answers in chat, it'll get deleted. Second time you do it, you'll be timed out for a minute. Sometimes more if you do it again after that. We are almost done with Blizzard, and then I can go ahead and go do title trivia. Sorry I'm late. Ah, oh, it's okay. This is fine. Yeah, usually I would stream for like two, three hours, but I'm very uncomfortable in this chair, and it's it's not fun. I didn't think about how streaming would go sitting here. Alright. I gotta get my host. I'm thinking the host today, um, let me make sure she's not in any of the questions, hang on. 
Need to make sure she's not in any of the questions. Oh, she is. Okay, I can't use her. Um, Blue duck plate? Oh, I could do that. All right, this is our this is our co-host. Alien was our co-host last week, I believe. Alien was the co-host last week. By the way, this igloo belongs to Blue Duck Plate. I just thought I'd let you guys know that. Alright, Duck Plate. Uh, slide you on in right here. Bit of a big lady. Alright. <laughs> she's, a, she's a bit of a large lady. A big girl, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna do title trivia. Here's a reminder, there are no answers in chat. But, uh, no, we'll put it right here. There are no answers in chat. For anyone just getting here, or anybody who didn't hear me earlier, here's how this works. I will ask chat five questions about my collection of titles. A poll will pop up on the YouTube chat, and you will select your answer. By the time the poll is ended, whatever chat has voted as a majority will be chat's answer. I will be keeping track of chat's score. I do not keep track of personal scores. Um, there are no answers in chat, so let me go ahead and get question one. Okay, question one. Who is my least favorite title? This one is one of the easier ones. Who is my least favorite title? Who is my least favorite title? This one is probably the easiest one here. Who is my least favorite title? Okay, the poll has been ended. If you said hairspray with 24%, you are wrong. If you said trident with 6%, you are wrong. If you said bath bomb with 18%, you are wrong. Chat score is one out of five. The correct answer was hairbrush. Let me get question two.
Question two. Which of these titles wears a life ring? Which of these titles wears a life ring? Do not put your answers in the chat. Which of these titles wears a life ring? Which of these titles wears a life ring? All right. If you said Vaseline with 19%, you are wrong. If you said paper towel with 14%, you are wrong. If you said bathtub with 43%, you are wrong. The correct answer was Ajax with 24% leaving chat score at one out of five. Question three, which of these titles wears bunny ears? Which of these titles wears bunny ears? No answers in chat. Yeah, Tango, you are gonna do well. Um, this next one you're gonna know very well. Like, Tango, I'm- I'm actually 100% banking on you knowing number four. can't really decide between hand soap and dish soap. <laughs> I hope you pick the right soap. Ooh, you guys seem pretty set on that one. Are you sure? <laughs> All right, I'll be ending the poll in just a moment. I'll be ending the poll. All right, the poll has been ended. If you said dinner plate with 15%, you are incorrect. If you said kitchen sink with 18%, you are incorrect. If you said hand soap with 36%, if you said hand soap with 36%, you are correct. Bringing chat score to two out of five. Let me get question four.
Question four. Which of these titles wears a St. Patrick's limited die? Which of these titles wears a St. Patrick's limited die? I already know Tango probably got this one right. Which of these titles wears a St. Patrick's Limited die? Which title wears a St. Patrick's limited die? The poll has been ended. If you said magic eraser with 34%, you are incorrect. Magic eraser actually is not dyed. He doesn't have a die. <laughs> if you said Ajax with 19%, you are incorrect. Ajax wears the black-purple fade. Or it might be purple-black. One or the other. If you said <clears throat> Lemon Pledge with 22%, you are incorrect. Lemon Pledge wears a summer limited dye. If you said Dinner Plate with 25%, you'd be correct. This leaves chat score at 2 out of 5. Let me get the final question. Final question. Which of these titles is not dressed in pastel yellow? Which of these titles is not dressed in pastel yellow? I will say that all four of these horses in this question are dressed in a form of yellow. This one comes down to what kind of yellow. Which of these horses is not dressed in pastel yellow? All of these horses are dressed in yellow. It comes down to which one is not dressed in pastel yellow. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to end the poll. If you said Lemon Pledge... With 6%, you are incorrect. 
If you said Kleenex with 21%, you are incorrect. If you said nail polish remover, Actually, if you put nail polish remover or Lysol, can I have you guys uh, tell me what you picked in the chat? I just I just want to see who who picked between these. Well, also Rose, your previous favorite was in the question. <laughs> like uh Rose Lemon Pledge still wears the leaves you gave her. <laughs> All right. If you said nail polish remover, you are correct. Bringing chat's final score to three out of five. Chat's final score is three out of five. You get a pat on the back, and I will not laugh at you in a grocery store today. The final score for chat is 3 out of 5. You did not beat your high score, <laughs> but you're getting better. You did not beat your high score, but you're getting better. Glad I made them easier today. <laughs> Alright, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and end. Um, I'm really tired, and this chair is not that comfortable but just for rose real quick just just for rose we're gonna go see lemon pledge uh rose i remember i remember you used to remember that lemon pledge was in here you know she used to be in here she used to be all the way at the end um but now she is out here here you do your own thing where is she she's a big girl here she is and she's still wearing the leaves. She still has the leaves on. <laughs> Alright. With that, I'm gonna end. Thank you guys for being here. I'm sorry it didn't last that long. This chair is just really uncomfortable. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll stream again tomorrow. Good morning for now.